Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. We're going to be tying a fly in this little episode. Well, we're not, I'm not. The guy that's going to be tying it is a professional fishing guide on Rutland Water. Rob Waddington has been a long time fisherman, fly fishing enthusiast, fly fishing nut. He fly fishes for everything, type or whatever. But he's tying this fly, and why I want you guys to check it out, not just the trout anglers, because here on the TA show we do have a big following of trout fly fishermen. You perch anglers ought to check this out as well, because I've got a feeling there could be a crossover of species here. Hmm, gets you thinking, doesn't it? Let's check out and see what Rob's going to tie for us today. Okay, one of my favourite ways of catching fish is on the surface, dry fly, something that you actually see the fish taking. But you know, it's not only dry flies that fish take off the surface. On here, on Rutland Water, and all the big lakes, and even the small lakes, there's a lot of coarse fish. And sometimes they get not quite eaten by the trout, they get stunned and they float on the surface. And these big fish wait for these floating fry, these easy, easy pickings to come grab them off the surface. And I tell you what, some of those takes, you could swear they growl. I'm Rob Waddington, I run Rutland Fly Fishing Adventures and today I'm going to show you how to tie a deer hair floating fry. Okay, I'm going to use a long lure hook, size 8, big fly. I'm going to tie a f uh, an imitation of a fish about this big. So, first of all, tie in the body. I'm using Kevlar thread. Very strong, very, very strong thread. And you'll see why later. So I'm tying it in at the head. And then I'm going to go all the way down to the back of the hook. Touching turns. I need a, a thread underbody for this. Down there like that. A cheap pair of scissors to tie that, to snip that clamp because well, it's quite strong stuff. Now a little tail on the end. I'm, I like, I like marabou. I love marabou. This is this is from a turkey. This is grey. This just looks really, really fishy, like fish taily in the water. I'm going to... strong stuff. Take that off, twist it, and just tie a little bit of that for the tail. And I don't want a long tail, because it's just... I'm just... Snapped it off with my fingers there. Nice little tail. That's going to shimmer in the water. Now I'm going to tie this lot off here. Get rid of that. Now we come for the body. We're going to use, for the body, we're going to use natural deer hair. This is it. You can buy these in shops. It's already cured and ready to use. Uh, the thing about deer hair is each little follicle is hollow. So it's like a tube and it traps air in it. So it's a very buoyant material. Perfect for these floating fry patterns. So, a little bit of a tricky fly this. A lot of the flies we've done recently have been quite really easy to tie. This is a little bit more tricky. I'm going to take a clump of deer hair and just lay it over the bod, over the hook there. Now there's a bit of magic going to happen here guys. I'm going to wrap this in loosely at first. Very loosely. To three and I'm going to pull tight and just watch this spinning it round and then I'm going to wiggle it round to come out the other end and pull that all back and tie that off little hitch half hitch to to finish it off. Now, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to tie, pull out another clump. And do it again. Same as we did before. Lay it over the hook there. Tie it in. Loosely at first. And then bind it. See how, see how that's splaying out? I'm going to end up like with a massive big hedgehog of deer hair. Little 
half hitch. Okay, well I've put uh, about five or six clumps of deer hair. I'm just going to put one more in the end here, in the head end. Wrap it in loosely to start with. And bind it tight, tight, tight. Move the head back. And I'm not going to put any more in, that's going to be the head. And you might say to me, what a blooming mess. <laughs> well, it does look like a bit of a hedgehog at the moment. But just you wait and see when we give it a haircut. Snip that off. There you go. Middle-aged Ken Dodd. <laughs> what a mess. But let's just get the scissors on this and see if we can make something of it. This is where you get deer hair all over the place. So I'm just start, going to start to... Anything for the weekend, sir? <laughs> Sorry. Being, care being careful you don't cut the tail off that you've made. I know you seem to be cutting off what you've already made, but... Uh... Almost the tighter this is, the better. So the more you take off, the better it floats. I've just left these little things sticking out the side because I'm going to try and make those look like a little thin sticking out in a minute. Okay, it's starting to come together. I've given it a, quite a severe haircut. Um, got the fish shape there. I've left a little bit sticking out the side because that's the thin and if you it's going to float like this the fish will see it this way so it looks like a fish on its side. What's a good idea on these is to put an eye, big eye here because that's what the fish see. Big eye, a big beady eye. So what I'm going to do is just get a bit of flatness. I'm going to with a razor blade or a cutter here just going to cut a bit of flat area here. I've got a little stick on a BDI here. They're not really permanent these, so I'm going to put a bit of super glue. BDI. Press that for a bit. It's starting to shape, take shape guys, isn't it? Nice little flowing tail, fish shape. But what we can do, we could make this a little bit more realistic. This is where you can get a bit creative. Put a bit of, bit of black around there on the end. bit of green felt pen. What about making it a perch? What about a bit of green? Oh, we've got black stripes, haven't we? So green there, that's what we can do. What about a few <laughs> perchy stripes? There you go, there's a 
deer hair which is buoyant as we said each little follicle of deer hair is hollow so it traps air in there float all day nice little shimmering grey tail here big beady eye and we've created a little deer hair perch fry just plop that on the surface give it a twitch and wait for a big bow wave to come and snap right off the surface okay there you go deer hair floating fry very effective very deadly uh, around the weed beds if you just plop that out with a floating line floating fly line I like to have about 10 12 foot of uh, monofilament and then about a foot 18 inches of fluorocarbon remember we talked about fluorocarbon the fish won't see it but it's but it does sink so the fluorocarbon is not long enough to pull the fish under plop that out just give it a twitch or two watch for a big bow wave to Oh, they tell you what, they almost growl as they take it off the surface. And hang on to your hat because they're going to pull your arm off.